good morning students welcome to biology class chapter 2 nutrition in animals what do different food items contain we know that each dish is usually made up of one or more ingredients these ingredients contain some components that are needed by our body these components are called nutrients the major nutrients in our body are named carbohydrate protein fat vitamin mineral in addition food contains dietary fibers and water which are also needed by our body all organisms including humans require food for their growth a repair of own of tissues and functioning of the body the mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms bees and hummingbirds suck the nectar of plants infants of human and many other animals feed on mother's milk snakes like python swallow the animals they prey upon some aquatic animals filter tiny food particles floating nearby and feed upon them. Different animals have different mode of feeding like scrapping, chewing, siphoning, capturing and swallowing, sponging, sucking, etc. Now let's look into the mode of feeding of starfish or sea star starfish feeds on animals covered by hard shells of calcium carbonate after opening the shell the starfish pops out its stomach through its mouth to eat the soft flesh inside the shell the stomach then goes back into the body and the food is slowly digested it's an amazing fact no The components of food such as carbohydrates are complex substances. These complex substances cannot be utilized as such. So they are broken down into simpler substances. This process of breaking down of complex components of food into simpler substances is termed as digestion. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system we take in food through the mouth digest and utilize it the unused parts of the food are defecated what happens to the food inside the body the food passes through a continuous canal which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus the canal can be divided into various compartments the buccal cavity food pipe or esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine ending in the rectum and the anus. These parts together form the elementary canal or digestive tract. The food components gradually get digested as food travels through the various compartments. The inner walls of the stomach and the small intestine and the various glands associated with the canal such as salivary glands, the liver and the pancreas secrete digestive juices. The digestive juices convert complex substances of food into simpler ones. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system. Let us learn what happens to the food in different parts of the digestive tract in the next class.